O Lord and Master Jesus Christ, our God, fountain of life and immortality, creator of all things visible and invisible, co-everlasting and co-eternal Son of the unoriginate Father, who in thine exceeding great love didst become incarnate in the latter days, and was crucified and slain for us ungrateful and ignorant men, and by thine own blood didst refashion our nature corrupted by sin. Do thou thyself, O immortal King, receive the repentance of me, the sinner. Incline thine ear unto me, and hear my words, for I have sinned, O Lord. I have sinned against heaven and before thee, and I am not worthy to lift up my eyes to the height of thy glory, for I have affronted thy goodness, and transgressed thy commandments, and disobeyed thine ordinances. But thou, O Lord, who rememberest not evil, but art long-suffering and of great mercy, hast not given me over to perish in my lawlessness, but dost ever await my return. For, O thou who lovest mankind, thou hast said by thy prophet, I desire not the death of a sinner, but rather that he should return and live, because thou dost not wish, O Master, to destroy the work of thy hands. Neither dost thou take pleasure in the destruction of men, but desirest that all men should be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. Wherefore I, although unworthy both of heaven and of earth, and of this transitory life, even I, the wretched one, having wholly yielded myself to sin, become a slave to pleasures, and defile thine image within me, who am thy creation and thy work. Despair not of salvation, but trusting in thine infinite compassion, I draw nigh unto thee. Receive me, O Christ, thou that lovest mankind, as thou didst receive the harlot, the thief, the publican, and the prodigal son. Take away the heavy burden of my sins, O thou that takest away the sin of the world, and healest the infirmities of men, and callest all that are weary and heavy laden to thyself, and givest them rest. Thou that camest not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Cleanse thou me from every stain of flesh and spirit, and teach me to perfect holiness in the fear of thee, that with the witness of my conscience pure I may receive a portion of thy holy things, and be united to thy holy body and blood, and may have thee with the Father and the Holy Spirit, dwelling and abiding in me. Yea, O Lord Jesus Christ, my God, grant that the partaking of thine immaculate and life-giving mysteries may not be to my condemnation, nor may I become infirm in soul and body by receiving unworthily thereof. But grant that even unto my last breath I may partake of a portion of thy holy things without condemnation, unto the communion of the Holy Spirit, as a provision for eternal life and for a good defense of thy fearful judgment seat, so that I, as a partaker with all thine elect, may also receive those incorruptible good things which thou hast prepared for them that love thee, O Lord, in whom thou art glorified forever. Amen. O Lord, I know that I receive unworthily thine immaculate body and precious blood. I know that I am guilty and that I eat and drink condemnation to myself, not discerning the body and blood of Christ my God. But taking courage in thy compassion, I come unto thee who has said, Whosoever eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood abideth in me, and I in him. Therefore, O Lord, have compassion on me, and make not an example of me the sinner, but do unto me according to thy mercy, and grant that these holy things may be for me unto the healing, purification, enlightenment, protection, salvation, and sanctification of soul and body, and to the expulsion of every evil imagination, wicked deed, or work of the devil, which operateth within my mind and members. May they move me to boldness and love toward thee, to amend and keep for my life, and may they ever be in me unto the increase of virtue, unto the keeping of thy commandments, unto the communion of the Holy Spirit, as a provision for eternal life and for a good defense at thy fearful judgment seat, and not into judgment, nor into condemnation. O Lord my God, I know that I am not worthy nor sufficient that thou shouldest enter under the roof of the house of my soul, for it is all deserted and in ruins, and thou hast not a worthy place in me to lay thy head. But as from the heights of thy glory thou didst humble thyself, so now conform thyself to my humility, as thou didst deign to lie in the cave in a manger of dumb animals, so deign now also to come into the manger of my dumb soul and soiled body. As thou didst not refrain from entering and eating with sinners in the house of Simon the leper, so also vouchsafe to enter the house of my humble, leprous, and sinful soul. As thou didst not reject the harlot and the sinner, like unto me who approached and touched thee, so also have pity on me, the sinner, as I approach and touch thee. And as thou didst not loathe the filthy mouth of her who drew near to kiss thee, neither loathe my mouth which is more filthy, nor my unclean lips, nor my yet more unclean tongue. But grant that the fiery coal of thine all-holy body and precious blood be for the sanctification, enlightenment, and strengthening of my wretched soul and body, for the relief from the burden of my many transgressions, for the preservation against every demonic activity for trampling down and averting of my careless and evil habits, for the mortification of passions, for obedience to thy commandments, for growth in thy divine grace and the inheritance of thy kingdom. For it is not with presumption that I approach thee, O Christ God, but as one taking courage in thine ineffable goodness, lest that through long absence from communion with thee I may become the prey of the noetic wolf. 
Wherefore I pray thee, O Master, who alone art holy, sanctify my soul and body, my mind and heart, my reins and bowels, and renew me entirely. Implant in my members the fear of thee, and make thy sanctification to be inalienable from me. Be thou my helper and guide, directing my life in peace, vouchsafing me to stand at the right hand with thy saints through the prayers and intercessions of thine all-immaculate mother, of thy bodiless servitors and immaculate powers of all the saints who from all the ages have been well-pleasing unto thee. Amen. O Lord Master, I am not sufficient that thou shouldest enter under the roof of my soul, but for that thou desirest, O lover of mankind, to dwell in me, I make bold to draw near. Thou biddest me to open the doors which thou alone hast made, and thou dost enter with thy love for man. Thou dost enter and enlighten my darkened reasoning. I believe that thou wilt so do, for thou didst not turn from the harlot when she came to thee with tears. Neither didst thou reject the publican who repented, nor the thief when he acknowledged thy kingdom, nor didst thou despise the persecutor when he was converted. But all who came to thee in repentance, thou didst reckon among thy friends, O thou who alone art blessed, always now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, my God, absolve, forgive, cleanse, and pardon me, thy sinful, unprofitable, and unworthy servant, the sins, offenses, and transgressions by which from my youth, even unto this present day and hour, I have sinned against thee, in knowledge or in ignorance, whether of words or deeds, whether in thought or imagination, in my own counsels, and in all my senses and by the intercessions of her who bore thee without seed, marry thine all-immaculate and ever-virgin mother, my only hope which maketh not ashamed, my protection and my salvation, vouchsafe that I may partake without condemnation of thine immaculate, immortal, life-giving, and dread mysteries, for the remission of sins and unto life eternal, unto the sanctification, enlightenment, strength, healing, and health of both soul and body, unto the blotting out and complete obliteration of my evil thoughts and imaginings and intents, of night fantasies and the evil spirits of darkness. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory and the honor and the worship with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord and Master Jesus Christ, our God, who alone hath authority to forgive men of their sins, for thou art good and lovest mankind, overlook all transgressions that I have committed in knowledge or in ignorance, and make me worthy to receive without condemnation thy divine, glorious, immaculate, and life-giving mysteries not unto punishments or unto increase of sins, but unto purification and sanctification, and a pledge of the life and kingdom to come, as a protection and a help and an averting of the adversaries, and unto the blotting out of my many trespasses. For thou art a God of mercy and compassions and love toward mankind, and unto thee we ascribe glory, together with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. From filthy lips, from a loathsome heart, from an unclean tongue, from a polluted soul, receive my prayer, O my Christ, and despise not my words, neither my manner nor mine impudence. Suffer me to speak boldly that which I desire, O my Christ, nay, rather teach me that which it becometh me to do and to speak. I have sinned more than the harlot, who, learning where thou was lodging, brought myrrh and dared to anoint thy feet, O Christ, my Master and my God. Inasmuch as thou didst not reject her who came to thee from her heart, neither loathe thou me, O word, but grant me also to hold and kiss thy feet, and to dare to anoint them with the flood of tears, as with very precious myrrh. Wash me with my tears, and purify me thereby, O word. Forgive my transgressions, and grant me pardon. Thou knowest the multitude of mine evil deeds, thou knowest too my bruises, and thou seest my wounds. But thou knowest likewise my faith, and beholdest my zeal, and thou hearest my sighs. No tear is hidden from thee, O my God, my Maker, my Deliverer, nor even a part thereof. Thine eyes did see my being, while as yet it was unfashioned, for in thy book things not yet accomplished are written by thee. Behold my lowliness, behold my weariness, forgive me all of my sins, O God of all, that with a pure heart and fearful mind and contrite soul I may partake of thine immaculate and all-pure mysteries, wherewith every man who eateth and drinketh thereof in sincerity of heart is enlivened and made divine. For thou, O Master, did say, Whoever eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood abideth in me, and I in him. True in all the ways is the word of my Lord and God. For he who partaketh of the divine and deifying gifts is in no way alone, but is with thee, O my Christ, thou light of the triune Son, who illumineth the world. Suffer me not to dwell apart from thee, O giver of life, who art my breath, my life, my joy, and the salvation of the world. Wherefore I draw nigh unto thee, as thou seest with tears and a contrite soul. O thou ransom of mine offenses, I beseech thee to receive me, so that I may partake without condemnation of thy life-bestowing and blameless mysteries, that as thou hast said, thou mayest abide in me. The thrice-wretched, 
lest if I be found without thy grace the tempter should craftily beguile me and entice me away from thy deifying words. For this cause I fall down before thee and earnestly cry unto thee. As thou didst accept the prodigal son and the harlot when she came to thee, so also receive me who am as a harlot and a prodigal, O compassionate one. Turning to thee now the contrite soul, I know, O Saviour, that no man hath sinned against thee as I, nor done the things that I have done. Yet this also I know, that neither the magnitude of the transgressions nor the multitude of the sins surpasseth the great long suffering of my God, and his exceeding love toward mankind. But with the oil of compassion thou didst cleanse and enlighten them that earnestly repent, bounteously making them partakers of the light and communicants of thy divinity. And strange though it be to angels and to the minds of men, thou dost oftentimes converse with them as with thy true friends. These things make me bold, these things give me wing, O my Christ, and emboldened am I by thy rich bounty towards us, in joy and trembling I, who am as grass, do partake of fire. And lo, a strange wonder, I am inexplicably bedewed, even as of old the burning bush was not consumed. Now with thankful mind, with thankful heart, with thankfulness in all my members, my soul and my flesh, I worship, magnify, and glorify thee, O my God, who art blessed both now and ever and unto the ages. O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, the wisdom, peace, and power of God, who alone art pure and undefiled, who through the compassion of thine ineffable love for mankind didst take our entire substance from the pure and virginal blood of her who supernaturally conceived thee by the descent of the divine spirit and the good will of the unoriginate Father, and who, by the assumption of our nature, didst accept the life-giving and saving passion, the cross, the nails, the spear, and death, Mortify the soul-corrupting passions of my body, O thou who by thy burial didst leave captive the kingdom of Hades. Bury under good thoughts my evil counsels and scatter abroad the evil spirits, O thou who by thy life-giving third-day resurrection didst raise the forefathers who had fallen. Raise me up who slip in sin, placing before me the ways of repentance. O thou who by thy glorious ascension didst deify the flesh which thou had assumed and didst honor it with the seed at thy right hand of the Father. So make me worthy by partaking of thy holy mysteries, that I may attain a portion of thy right hand with the saved. O thou who by the descent of the Comforter, the Spirit, didst make thy sacred apostles precious vessels, show me also to appear a vessel for his descent. O thou who art about to come and judge the world with righteousness, be well pleased, O my Maker and my Creator, that I too may welcome thee in the clouds with all thy saints, that I may ceaselessly glorify and hymn thee with thine unoriginate Father and thine all-holy good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. I stand before the doors of thy temple, and yet I refrain not from my terrible thoughts. But do thou, O Christ God, who didst justify the publican and had mercy on the Canaanite woman, and didst open the gates of paradise to the thief, open unto me the compassion of thy love toward mankind, and receive me as I approach and touch thee, like the harlot and the woman with the issue of blood. For the one, by but touching the hem of thy garment, received healing, and the other, by embracing thine immaculate feet, received the forgiveness of her sins. And I, who am pitiful, dare to partake of thy whole body. Let me not be consumed, but receive me as thou didst receive them, and enlighten the senses of my soul, burning up the accusations of my sins. Through the intercessions of her, though without seed, gave thee birth, and of the heavenly powers. For thou art blessed unto ages of ages. Amen. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen.